Good day, Davis. Welcome, Strawberry Switch Plane. Thank you. We've got uh, camera one right there. How about uh, introducing yourself and how you feel now? Yeah, so I'm Rose from Strawberry Switch Plane. And I'm Jill. Hello. <laughs> and we're really, I'm really glad to be in Japan. Yeah. It's great, and somebody's going to take fun. us out afterwards. <laughs> You're, you're it's, very, it's very exciting, it's very exciting being here. You're from London? No, we're from Scotland, but we live in London now. Yeah, yeah. we're okay. based in London. You uh, knew with each other when? Uh, well, we've known each other for about seven years. Seven Quite a long years. time. When you were a teenager? Yeah, when yeah. you were low, lower teen, right? Sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we won't go into that. <laughs> were you in the same school or...? Uh, no, no, we, we just met at a club that we both went to. A punk club. Yeah, we lived on opposite ends of the city. That we, we lived in Glasgow in Scotland, and we stayed on at opposite ends of it. So we would never have met if we hadn't gone to this club. You see. Oh yeah, that was uh, 76, 77. Yeah. 77. That was yeah. the days of Sex Pistols. Yeah, and, that's true, yeah. and you got baptized with all the punk punk music, right? Yeah, yeah. that's one way of putting it. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite a good way of putting it. And um, yeah, some of them survived. And uh, yeah. Now look at yourself now. You were just admirers, right? In those yeah. days, but you're uh, on your own making yes, your own music. Yes, I think that probably most people, most musicians, start off like that. Anyway, pop musicians like mm -hmm. they've got idols and they want to be in bands, so they buy a guitar, a keyboard, or start to sing whatever, and eventually become uh -huh. join groups and become successful themselves. Hopefully, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. Well. Uh, was uh, the punk music, I mean, simple, straight, rock and roll. Yeah. I mean, uh, did, did they make you feel that you can do it yourself? Yeah, that was it. It was like when punk happened, you, you did, there wasn't that feeling of having to be classically trained to be a musician. You could you could pick up a guitar and do anything and you, you could sing. You didn't have to go to a singing teacher for years and learn. No, mm -hmm. anybody could do it any time. So that was like a really big inspiration, encouraged a lot of young people to form bands. Right. Were you playing guitars then? No, I wasn't. Jill started to begin with, and she's been playing for a At year. At school now. or uh, on your own? Oh, no, I mean, I just later. as soon as the, uh, when we decided to form the group, I picked up a guitar and thought I'd better start to play this because you can't really be in a group if you can't, oh. play. You can't do anything. An instrument, and I just practiced very hard in my bedroom till I could play a few chords, yeah. and then we wrote some songs. Seems like you are learning a lot. I mean. First, you, you couldn't play any instrument, you learned guitar and listen to yourself now. I mean, you've got all synthesizers mm. and sequencers yeah, yeah. and and uh, girls are supposed to be weak with all the... <laughs> no, no, no. Girl. Mm? I think that's been disproved yeah. for a long time. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I, I mean, I think when punk happened as well, it encouraged a lot of girls to involve themselves in music because girls weren't just like girls who sat on the side of everything then. They got involved and they wore what they wanted to wear and they, uh, they'd done what they wanted to do, basically, so they started to actually commit.